Hey, me again. Thank you for joining me and if you're new to my channel, please consider to subscribe. It will mean a lot to me. So with the coronavirus, we've been quite housebound and this is the first time I'm recording in a week's time and who would have thought that a week would have been a lot for me not to record um it's been quite a learning oh i just noticed i have some mascara sorry um i have been noticing we're all getting a little bit cranky so we both got um like a hobby to do I did my tabled centerpiece which uh, came out quite nicely an Easter table piece I'll share it later with you and uh, he made a little burner for us so I'm gonna show in case you are interested it made me think of the list of items that we definitely have to have in Switzerland um, in case of an emergency and one of them are the a radio battery operated radio and um, a burner now we do have several burners in our house because we do like camping but he decided he's gonna make one um, out of cans so I'm gonna share that with you I hope you guys find it interesting Tell so my very creative husband has been busy with uh, preparing for the coronavirus in case we need some burners you know we never know what we're gonna need so um, we had to buy special cans at the co-op because the one the Heineken cans are not big enough let me just Thick zoom enough. in and um, did you drink the beer by the way that was uh, no, I drank one and the other one I didn't feel like and then, then, then. oh so it wasn't Th good beer not good beer Oh, uh, anyway, this is about the uh, zombie apocalypse and we need to be able to cook. So, what do we have here? We have fuel. Yeah. We have two cans, that's already empty. Okay, so we can make two fires. No, no, it's, we, I need two cans to make one burner. Let me take this out. Oh, so, so two cans for one burner. We basically start with one can. Okay, what do you do with the can? You, with this on, you make little holes in it. You use like a little thumb tack. See? Hold on. And you put them in. Let me zoom in. Yeah. You put them in and you make like 16 little holes around the edge. Yeah. Zop. Make one big hole in the middle and two little holes at the side. Then you use um, a spacer to make them a little bit bigger because this is where we put in the alcohol. Yeah. Then you take the can and put like tape around that you have a nice clean Eight. touch. Like this. Oh, so, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this one, you actually use a plier to make a, the diameter a bit smaller. Okay. Because this one will go in here. Can I see? That's the whole idea. Okay. Uh, the alcohol also needs to be stabilized that it doesn't slush around, so you put steel wool. wool in. So this goes in, this goes in there, chop, chop, chop. Uh, with hammering these things in, you actually can use... Uh, My uh, meat tenderizer. Meat tenderizer, that works well. <laughs> and it also works well if you mark the holes yeah. before. And you need to take this off the can, otherwise the can is wobbly while you work on it. So, notice this, so I took this to make the diameter a bit less. Put this in. This is the steel wool. Surely you're not going to put the alcohol in now. No, and now, this is the first time I do this. I just saw the people doing it in cyberspace once. And we're trying to improve or do at least the same. So. We got everything and now we're pushing it and it must fit nice and snug. And do you think we would be able to survive the zombie apocalypse? I think yes. Okay. But now we need to tighten this a bit. 
and it would be good to actually put something in between what I actually can do I can tighten the edges a bit it's still a bit sharp I should send it down it's okay it's a one off fuse no no this is last uh, Oh, so we can use it more than once. This will go in our inheritance. <laughs> so you fold this a little bit over, so yeah. it's nice and snug. Yeah. So you put it in. So when do you put the alcohol in? I'll show you now. Oh so. my God, just don't do it over your computer. No, uh, we don't make a fire. And we actually need to dim the lights a bit. I've never done this before. This is the first time we make this. So I'm also going to put a little bit of alcohol and we can do a retake hey, if it doesn't work. So I put the alcohol, it's going in. Watch out for your hands. This is industrial alcohol. I don't think it is disinfecting alcohol. I do a little bit more and that's it then. So we can also, we can use the access for cleaning our hands for the <sighs> coronavirus. Whatever. Now we need to find a lighter. And apparently it needs a bit of a fire start, it needs to heat but up. But is it not going to burn my, my uh, wood no, thing? No, because there's some alcohol on, that, on that, it. That, that needs to be there actually. Okay. And that will burn off. It's not going to burn my wood thing. No, it won't. No. My wood. You might need to edit this. No, this is perfect. Well done, Faber. So okay, but this still needs to get some... Because, see, it needs to heat up that you get little flames there. It really looks like it's burning my Oh, and a penny. Board. I need a penny. Franz made this wood board for me. I really don't want it to burn. No, no, I have a little penny that goes in here. Why do you put a penny in? That, that no flame from the middle is going out. Oh. So we got a burner and now it will calm down. Uh, why? Okay. It's it's so eh? nice. I'm so proud of you. Can so you we put, can, can, you, can you put a pot on it? Let me see if you put a pot on. Yeah, but I uh, don't have a static. A pot. An asparagus pot. No, ma maybe not the biggest pot that you can find. So, you can put a pot on it and heat up stuff and cook and can. Okay, put the pot on. Let me see if no, it I doesn't can't put die. the pot on. Then it dies. It needs to have a. Oh, oh, you need a, a little stand. Yeah. Okay, okay. I think this is working well. That okay, hole needs so to become a bit bigger. Such a nice, clever husband. And that one is also fine. Okay, this is working, right? It's perfect. But it's important to have that penny in the middle because 